As the situation in Afghanistan rapidly deteriorates, the Taliban says they'll ensure safe passage to Americans as long as they have passports. Trey Yinks reports. The situation in Kabul remains tense as thousands of people wait at the airport hoping for an evacuation flight. But time is running out. President Biden says he's sticking to his August 31st withdrawal deadline, claiming the U.S. can get all its citizens and allies out on time. We're going to stand shoulder to shoulder with our closest partners to meet the current challenges we face in Afghanistan. Last week, the White House said more than 11,000 Americans were still in Afghanistan. And yesterday, the Pentagon said only 4,000 have been evacuated. A growing number of allies now say they're unlikely to complete their own withdrawals by the 31st. But staying behind isn't an option if the U.S. military pulls out, leaving the airport defenseless. I don't believe we should leave Bagram Air, Air Base while American citizens are still there. That's a really important aspect, not a unilateral withdrawal you know, within days with our tail between our legs. For now, the Taliban is extending its control over Kabul and the surrounding area telling Afghans outside the airport that their safety is guaranteed and they should go home. But the U.S. and NATO partners still control air traffic in and out of the capital, and they're insisting they won't leave until the job is finished. And they've actually absolutely been committed to the task, um, and we'll see it through to the end. The Taliban also rejecting any military extension of the withdrawal, saying they will allow commercial flights out of Kabul after the deadline. 